Kiss, hi everyone, and welcome to Watch Outdoors. Join me in this one as we look over some of the new terrain pattern gear from Snug Pack. Today I'm going to be looking at some of the terrain pattern gear from Snug Pack. So this in my hand is the jungle bag. Um, now the jungle bag has been out for a number of years, uh, but the terrain pattern is brand new. Now I've nipped over to Snug Pack this morning as it was my birthday yesterday. So I went and picked up some gear, some new bits of gear for my birthday. Uh, so yeah, the terrain pattern that's coming out is going to be on quite an extensive range, uh, including the hammocks, the tarps, um, and I've just heard exclusively that the fly for the ionosphere is going to be sold individually as well, as well as the tent. So yeah, you can replace the green on the ionosphere with the terrain pattern. So that is an added bonus, so well done Snug Pack on that one. Uh, but yeah, let's go over this jungle bag in terrain pattern. So as with most Snug Pack products, all the bumps that you need is written on the outside of the compression sack and also on the included sort of product label uh, so i'm just going to read straight off of this and uh, tell you exactly what it says so the comfort ratings first of all is a comfort of seven degrees celsius and a low of two degrees celsius which is 45 and 35 fahrenheit uh, the size is 80 centimeters by 220 centimeters or 31 by 87 inches and the weight is 900 grams or 32 ounces and then in compressed state 18 by 15 or seven by six inches uh, not in compressed state as we speak this is just as it came direct from snug pack uh, so yeah this is a left zip this is what the lz stands for and it's a terrain pattern color uh, the shape is square we've gone through the temperature ratings dun, dun, dun. and the outer fabric is a micro diamond and the inner fabric is a paratex antibacterial the insulation is travel soft and there are aftercare instructions at snugpack.com forward slash care. Uh, so some highlights of it is it's got an antibacterial fabrics. It can be opened to form a quilt. Uh, it's got a rollaway mosquito on it and a compression stuff sack included for compact carry. Right, let's get it open and have a look at it. All right, so to get it out of the bag, obviously it's just a standard compression bag. Remove your webbing straps, pull cord, and then could do with a little bit of a grabby handle here maybe and just pull and unroll yep there you go right let's bring you in for a closer look right let's take a quick look at the top of the bag uh, as you can see the terrain pattern is nice and sort of camoed very very discreet sort of looking for sort of stealth bivy bag camping something similar to that uh, but yeah as you see here we've got a, a shock cord and cord stopper which allows you to pull nice and tight it's got a cord running along the bottom of uh, the sorry the top of the bag and then the top of the hood as well and then the roll away mosquito net is sort of hidden just on here and yeah you can get yourself right in there and then obviously stop bugs and things coming in and disturbing you in the middle of the night. I really do like that idea on a sleeping bag. Now you couple this up with the like um, bivy bag or special forces bivy bag from Snug Pack and you got yourself a nice simple lightweight um, bivy setup. Right let's get in the bag and see what it's like. Okay so as this is like literally brand new I'm going to take my boots off before I get into it. So I'm going to open up the zip which again is on the left hand side of this one and then I'm going to roll away the mosquito net as well. 
So that opens up nice and wide. As it says, you can open it up completely and form it into a quilt. If you look here, it's got a, a nice little mesh pocket, which I'll bring you in for a closer look in a second. But yeah, let's get in. Yeah, I'm in now, I'm just going to do the, the mesh up. And there we have it. So yeah, very, very nice and simple. And uh, I can already feel myself getting rather warm. So I'm going to get out. Okay, so it's now time to put away the sleeping bag. So first of all, I'm just going to make sure that all the zips are done up. like so as I said it's a nice and simple square design right so to get it put away start with your bottom end of your sleeping bag obviously make like a, a nice neat sausage roll and then loosen all your compression straps to the full extent Open up your white your uh, opening at the top, and then pop that in, and then just begin to stuff. Always starting with the foot end, making sure that all the air escapes out of the top. Now, with this having a mosquito on it, obviously it's got that breathability at the top anyway. But this works with any sleeping bag, starting at the foot end, and just compressing in with your hand, giving simple rotations of. Your compression bag as well. Just trying to make sure that you're not putting the flap of the compression bag in there as well. When you got to this point, cinch up. Okay, so out your compression straps, and then how I do it, not everybody does, and if you get a compression strap and pull from both sides at the same time just pull it until it's taut same again and then just rotate and grab the same two that you grabbed originally pulling towards you using your body as a platform pulling all the way around and again just keep going until you feel you've got it adequately compressed in a way look at that next to no is it about the size of a watermelon all right so this has been a first look at the uh, terrain pattern from snug pack uh, this has been on the jungle bag now i do have the jungle blanket as well and i've been reliably told that they're going to be doing it in tarps and hammocks and also the ionosphere fly sheet and i'm not sure about the stratosphere as yet but yes yeah, certainly the terrain pattern will be coming more potent from snug pack so if you've enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up comment let me know what you thought and if you're not already please subscribe to the channel by pressing this and there'll be more videos here and here for you see you in a bit